What's going on guys, Deeks here with another video and today we're actually doing a different kind of video. So you want to start on YouTube, you want to like make good thumbnails, hear me out. I'm going to teach you guys how to make basic thumbnails just like this one. So first off, all you're going to want to do, go down to the description below and you're going to want to download Photoshop the cracked version if you don't have it already. But most people do already have it. You can get it for free. There's various ways you can get it for free. So let's go ahead and tune right into this. So this took me about 10 minutes to make on this and it's a decent thumbnail for beginners um, I kind of tend to make beginner thumbnails so you do new you go right here 1280 by 720 just hit ok it'll bring you up this new right here so then all you're gonna want to do is you're gonna make a thumbnail you're gonna want to choose a background so you're gonna choose a topic of your video as you see I have a Photoshop I'm gonna try to find like a Photoshop background. I, I don't know if I can find one. Once we find one, I'll come back. All right, so as you can see, we found one and this one actually looks kind of decent. We're just gonna copy that. You can save it if you want. We're gonna copy it, put it here. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's gonna be blurry or not because like either way, it'll be blurry. We could have just screenshotted this, but we're gonna put it here, zoom it in, try to make it fit on the screen. Make sure you have no white spots. What I tend to do is I'll Alt Control Z and I'll make the whole thing bigger so that I don't have any white spots on the side. I'll go ahead, hit that, apply it, and use this. Hit Control J to copy it and delete this first one. So after you got this one, all you're gonna wanna do is I tend to go ahead and put in curves. And then I'll throw this one down just so it makes it darker and throw this one up so it makes it just the color of it is more contrasting. So as you can see right there, you can tell the difference, but it's okay. And then you're going to take this right here, go blur, Gaussian blur. And mine's already set right here over, all my stuff is over here. I usually tend to put it at like about a 5.5. Um, it looks good that way in my opinion. And then you're going to take another part of your thumbnail. And I'm just going to use this one that I used before right here. And I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to make it smaller. But instead of keeping the curves on it, I'm going to bring this one above the curves so it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that like in sync, you know? And then you kind of want to have like a symmetric, symmetric way to put it. So I usually put these down in the corner right here so that you can see where it's at. And I try to keep the corners so it looks good. And then you want to go ahead and add some text. Uh, usually you don't have to add text. Sometimes you do. Uh, sometimes it looks better with text. So usually what I'll do is I'll make the first word. This is going to be basic thumbnail tutorial for beginners, but I'm going to keep it light in the thumbnail and keep it basic and then thumbnail tutorial. Usually I'll go ahead and add a gradient overlay and uh, depending on what the color in the background is, is what I'll choose. But a lot of the times I'll choose a white right here and I will choose a kind of a kind of silver gray to add on to it just because the gray it just looks good all right after I got all that done I'll control J and copy this and then I'll change the words to whatever the next word is so thumbnail and what I'll tend to do is make this a little bit smaller so that it will fit with the other word not too much smaller because I just don't want it to you know be hundred percent like small so after that, I usually try to run them together, whichever one looks better. So what I'll do is I'll put this one under this and then basic will go up a little bit so you can still read thumbnail and then go ahead, control J and do the same thing you just did, except change this to your next one. So mine is going to be tutorial. So I actually changed it up and made my thumbnail in the front. And what I'm going to do is bring the, this tutorial down a little bit. I can zoom in and just bring it up just a tiny bit to where it looks like really good. I'm also going to go up here and take this basic right here and bring it up just a little bit, but make sure it's still behind there. So once that's done, I'll shift all of these, bring them down to a good spot. So right here looks good. I'll control T so they're all coming together. I'll hit control and then I'll usually bring them back or forward 
just hitting control and moving the, I think that right there probably looks good uh, if you want some clickbait you can add an arrow I think I have an arrow saved in here you can add an arrow I don't know it's it's usually for clickbait most people use it for clickbait and uh, you just want to point to whatever you're putting in the video so basic thumbnail tutorial right there and what I like to do is I'll tend to throw this off screen the back end of it off screen so that you can't see and then there's your basic thumbnail tutorial after this there's a lot of things you can go from here I usually tend to hit shift and hit all of these and I'll hit control E to make sure I have them all in there and I'll take this right here hit control J to copy delete the first one just because I want them all to be in there for this next step right here you want to hit blending options and this is how I make my little overlay right there you hit level and emboss and what I tend to do is chisel hard I make the depth about depth about halfway and I'll probably turn the size up just to where it looks good you know so right there is probably good and then I'll soften it pretty much all the way uh, sometimes I do it a little bit less than all the way but right there is how you make a basic thumbnail obviously you can add a lot more stuff into it I'm pretty sure you can add so stuff like this you can add on to it especially if you're in like a gaming scene so you could take stuff like this copy this right here in your step you want to throw this in hit the control V and uh, make the overlay for that so that you can go ahead and throw it right around here so then all everything behind it looks well you can go ahead and throw the opacity down a little bit then you can go ahead and do all this again all right and this is how you make a basic thumbnail to end it off you can also do this control J to copy it and hit filter other high pass and what I tend to put mine at is either 5.5 sometimes I'll throw it up to 10 just depending on what the picture is you want to hit overlay and that'll make it pop out more as you can see right here it'll make just everything pop out way more and usually I just go ahead and put them all in together save as title it you want to make it basic thumbnail or whatever you're titling of your video or stream and throw it in a JPEG because that's what YouTube needs on your desktop or wherever you want to put it I have mine up to maximum you just want to make sure this doesn't go before, like over 2m and there you go that's how you make a basic thumbnail all right and that's how you make a basic thumbnail I tend to stay and make the neat thumbnails just not the really elaborate thumbnails that look I just like the clean looking thumbnails if you guys have any questions make sure you guys comment down below your questions without anything else to say make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you're new it's been your boy Deeks and I'm out guys peace